Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're looking at running totals, creating these with DAX, and we have quite a real world use case because often in a proprietary system that you would sort of model your business intelligence around, you would have a date and new daily users, maybe not at this level of sort of um, granularity, but this is what we've got here. So we can see that each day we have a count of new daily users and we're gonna use a running total to sort of sum these up. So let's actually look at what a running or cumulative total is. So these are used to display the total sum of data as it grows with time. So in our case, we want to continuously add the daily registered users to the rows that came before. So you'll see 36 plus five is 41, 41 plus eight new users is 49 on the 3rd of January and so on. Now here's our DAX measure. And to break this down conceptually, we've got an expression with our calculate function, which is the sum of our new system's daily users. But we use the all function with filter to actually release any existing date filters. And then we apply logical operators to show the daily registrations that are less than or equal to the max or the highest current running total in order to achieve that nice addition throughout the rows. So let's look at how the measure actually works. Instead of typing this all out in front of you and to make it a nice snappy punchy tutorial, I've just zoomed in on the finished measure here. And maybe we can look at this in a bit more detail, um, both conceptually and, and how we build this out with our DAX. So as I said, we want to add the, um, the current rows to the rows that came before. So the max, the highest values, because they're being summed anyway. So we have the calculate function if we want to change filter context. And then we go into sum because we need an expression. So we'll sum those daily users. And we need to filter that expression. Um, but before we do that, we use the all function to release any filters that are captured in the date. And as you see here, we get the daily registration number and that needs to be less than or equal to the max. Now, naturally that will give us the highest values that came before. So pretty simple. And now we can check this out by just simply dragging in the running total measure into our table that we have here. And you'll see it works as expected. So 36 plus five new users on the 2nd of January gives us 41. And you'll see that we're essentially, like we did in the DAX formula, we're going with the previous max value and we're adding on the next row in sequence. So we can easily fact check this. You see at the end of our running total, we have 343. So you would expect that our the sum of our new daily users should be 343. That works out and it's all functioning as expected. Now this is a very common requirement within real world business cases. So I hope you enjoyed it. Something else for your arsenal. And as usual, if you like the content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.